According to this new information the Russians have known about alien civilizations for several decades, to many this comes as no surprise, there have been rumors floating around for many years. Well-respected military and government scientists have been trying to speak out on this issue for some time now. In the vast majority of cases the mainstream media either treats this like a non-event, or they treat it like the information is coming from very unreliable sources. This information is a big step in disclosure process for mankind. In Soviet times, the Ministry of Defense was working on a secret project aimed at creating a superhuman with paranormal abilities. Under this project, a group of scientists managed to get in touch with a foreign Reed alien civilization. The head of this top secret project shared some details with reporters for the first time. On a regular winter day in Moscow, in the comfort room with a fireplace, journalists were given a real sensation. A senior retired official of the Ministry of Defense, Lieutenant General in Reserve, Ph.D., a fellow of the Academy of Natural Sciences Alexei Seven said that in the late 1980s a group of researchers from the expert management unit of general staff managed to make a contact with representatives of another civilization. Interestingly, none of the journalists were particularly surprised but, rather, relieved with the confession. Vasily Yermenko, a major general of Fibon Reserve, academician of the Academy of Security, Defense and Law Enforcement, was the first to speak to the press. In Soviet times he served in the KGB and supervised the Air Force and development of aviation technology. Among his assignments was collection of information by the Air Force of the facts of appearance of unidentified flying objects. According to Vasily Yermenko, by that time there was an ample amount of such information. Missile units were even given a directive in case of detection of UFOs. The main task was not to create opportunities for reciprocal aggression. In 1983 to 1984 at the testing grounds of the Academy of Sciences by Vladimirovka, the Ministry of Defense and the KGB organized a large-scale study of paranormal phenomena. The military training site was not a random choice. Experts have long come to the conclusion that UFOs inevitably appear in places where military equipment and weapons are tested. We can say that we learned to summon UFOs in Vladimirovka. To do this, we dramatically increased the number of military flights and movement of the equipment. If the intensity on our side increased, UFOs appeared with the probability of 100%, explained Yermenko. After six months of tests the authoritative commission came to three main conclusions. First, modern science was not yet able to identify such phenomena. Second, it could be reconnaissance equipment of the US or Japan. Third, it could be an impact of an extraterrestrial civilization. The UFO topic today is ubiquitous. Precisely because of its scandalous nature serious scientists are not willing to identify their position on this issue. Pilots often see such objects, but they have a veto on this topic, so do astronauts. In confidential conversations they talk about their experiences meeting with UFOs, but they are afraid to speak publicly about this, said Vasily Yermenko. He believes that this subject requires a serious approach because it is a security issue. Yet, it is still a closed topic both in the US and in Russia. Lieutenant General Alexei Savin proceeded to reveal some aspects of the engagement of the Ministry of Defense. He headed the expert management unit of the general staff, whose task was to examine various unusual phenomena. The main project of the unit was a state program on the discovery of intellectual human resources. The goal of the program was to identify ways to make the human brain work in a special regime of superpowers, making a person a superhuman. The scientific council of the program was led by an academician Natalia Viktorova, who until her death served as a scientific director of the Institute of Human Brain of RAS. Over 200 highly skilled professionals from across the country participated in the program. In the process of research, we came to the conclusion that a human was an energy and information system that receives information from outside. This is precisely why a human can manifest paranormal abilities, said Alexei Savin. In order to identify this external source of information, three groups were created. One group was formed from scientists, another, from military, and the third one was composed of women. The group of women made the most significant progress in the research. Savin explained that they wanted to make a contact with representatives of other civilizations. And we did it. According to him, a special method has been developed that allowed the human brain to tune into a contact. We had to tune energy contour of the human brain to a particular wave, like a radio, Alexei Savin explained. 
no hypnosis, drugs, or other similar methods were used in the course of the experiment. A special system of testing was also developed to separate the incoming reports from hallucinations and insanity of the experiment participants. The experimental results were impressive, six participants were given a chance of physical contact, and two of them even managed to visit an alien ship. According to Savin, representatives of extraterrestrial civilizations revealed themselves gradually, giving away the information as they saw fit. In particular, they talked about their government structure and education system. No information on the military could be obtained. The only thing they agreed to share was a scheme of the equipment for the diagnosis and treatment of various diseases. The head of the experiment explained that humans were like small children to them. Our civilization is too young to be of interest to them as a subject for a dialogue. Because we are also a part of the universe, we may harm ourselves and other civilizations with our foolish actions, so they are looking out for us. The program of communication with extraterrestrial intelligence had been developed for several years until politics intervened. In 1993, the study was stopped and the unit disbanded. According to Savin, he was able to retain only a small number of documents, most of them, including photo reports, are still in the archives of the Ministry of Defense. Incidentally, the unique method for the development of the phenomenal abilities of an individual, until recently, was used in the academy named after Gagarin until it was disbanded by the former defense minister Seryukov. Yet, the core of the research team was preserved. Four years ago we tried to repeat the experiment, and we were successful, said Alexei Savin. According to him, today this work continues, and the brains and talented people are still present in the defense industry. Answering the question of Pravda, Ruwayed was decided to announce it to the media Savin replied, Why hide something from people? Instead, they need to prepare for new challenges.